morning. Welcome home to Mailer's Landing, especially all you new folks. Y'all blew up my channel this week. Welcome. Come on along. It is the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. No, it's not. It's Wednesday before Thanksgiving. It's the day before Thanksgiving. Hey, hi, Bill. <laughs> It is the day before Thanksgiving, which means it's prep day, um, and I've got so much to do today. We're going to be doing the turkey spatchcocked on the grill this year, which is, I'm so excited about this. I am so excited about this. I'll make sure I get footage, um, which opens up my oven and relaxes my kitchen, and I'm super stoked about this. So I've got a whole bunch of stuff. I'm gonna be getting ready, um, including I've gotta parboil some onions, I've got to roast some yams, I've got some stuffing to put together, so I need to make some bread stale. Um, cranberry sauce, cranberry sauce. I have some chestnuts that I need to boil, and in the meantime, can I take you along while we make some cranberry sauce? <laughs> Come on along, we'll have a good time. So I have, I have fussed with this recipe over the years. Uh, I'll, gi I'll give you a take down below in the description of what I'm actually doing. But it started out with like 16 apricots quartered. And I was like, no, how about 30? So I'm just, I'm just gonna cut apricots for a little bit over here. Um, I like to do them with the scissors. Ta-da, we're done. And I can put the scissors in the dishwasher. Always a good time. Thanksgiving's probably my favorite holiday all year to celebrate. It's just, it's a bunch of us coming together around food and family and enjoying ourselves together. This year, we've got a bunch of friends coming in. The lasers are gonna be here and Mike's gonna cook with me too. And this will be Raina's first Thanksgiving with us. And I think Sumi is gonna come by too. You might remember them from, from um, the workshop. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to this one. This will be super fun. Anyway, these apricots, I'm putting in, I have three cups of cranberries. Like I said, I've been finessing this a little minute. I've got three cups of cranberries that are going in this. And so I'm gonna add roughly two cups of um, dried, quartered, halved, kitchen chopped, uh, apricots will go in this. I like a non-stick pot to get this job done. I'm gonna run with this guy. Three cups of cranberries, two cups of apricots, last one, two thirds of a cup of golden raisins. So to answer the burning question, we should have either a dozen or 13 tomorrow. More or less two and a half tablespoons of diced ginger. Three quarter cup of lightly packed light brown sugar. Four tablespoons of apple cider. This is mine now. I celebrate you. I'm gonna juice four clementines in. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, roughly. Half teaspoon of cayenne. That's it, we're going to the stove. Oh hey, I've got you over at the stove. I gotta figure out this camera angle. This is ridiculous. Um, BRB. Okay, and now it's gonna be a lot of babysitting. I'm 100% sure you're gonna be looking at this recipe and like, there's very little liquid in here. There is very little liquid in here, but that's all gonna change up in a couple of minutes. Hang tight with me. This is gonna make up a really saucy, spicy, um, but not like overwhelmingly hot kind of product. It's gonna be very sweet, balanced against the spiciness. Um, if you're that kind of person who likes like um, 
uh, cocoa with the cayenne in it, you will love this. Um, but I find that folks who generally don't go for the sweet with the heat, I uh, still actually really like this. Um, it's one of my favorite things. And my nieces absolutely love this, so must do. This does take a little while. Give it, give it the time it needs. Um, run it low, start it at like a five or a six. Uh, because if you, if you try to go too fast, there really isn't enough liquid in here and your sugar burns, which is no fun because that tastes funky. I wish you could smell this. This is so nice. It's a lot of cinnamon, but it's super. So I'm going to be here for a few minutes, hanging out, listening to the radio. I'll be back. We're starting to pop. Let me get you in close so you can hear this. This is so great. You hear them starting to pop? This is gonna start changing color soon too as those continue to pop. I'm gonna start stirring this and mashing with my whisk. We're starting to turn red, get a little jelly behind us. All right, I'm just gonna cook this down for a bit. All right, so we cooked down for a couple more minutes, but really I needed to get it off the stove because it's already getting super thick. It's already getting really super thick. So let's get this in the sink and I'll mash it down a little bit. I'm not pureeing this or anything. I'm gonna leave nice big chunks, but I do want the cranberries to sort of mash down a little bit. This is gonna chill in the refrigerator overnight and I'll probably warm it up just a little bit right before everybody gets here. Nuke it for a moment, make it warm. Look at that, look at that beautiful color. And I think Bill's gonna come up and taste test with me. I found a wild Bill in the house and he's gonna taste it with me. <laughs> so this is, this is what it comes out looking like. It's just this beautiful red, rosy kind of. I feel like they're not seeing the deep red like we are. Okay. You're gonna have to back up or duck down. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, it smells like Thanksgiving. Mm. How would you describe it? I'll be back. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> How would you describe this? It's really good. It's very fruity. Just enough, just enough spice to it to keep it interesting. Hmm. And from past years, I know it's fantastic with turkey. It is really good with the bird. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna hand that off to you. <laughs> to put in the fridge. Hey now. In the fridge. <laughs> in the fridge. You don't know this about me, so I'll tell you, I'm four foot ten. <laughs> so he's not. Um so, so getting us framed is always a good time. Oh my God, it's like a John Fetterman picture. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for coming along with us and making the cranberry sauce. I will put the entire recipe down in the description and down there in the description. And in the meanwhile, I've got to blanch some onions, boil some chestnuts, and get those yams out of the oven because the alarm just went off for them. So I'm going to get on that, and we will catch you up soon. Take care. Bye-bye. So this is Liberty, my kiddo. Um, among the faces you will see, his is pretty prominent. He's got his hands in all kinds of stuff. 
and so short. Uh, I am oh, so man. short. Do you want to share? No. Wait, hold on a second. <laughs>